Okay, everyone. So now we are creating a Windows application where we are going to create a program to find the prime number. This time we are making the prime number with the help of function. So there will be a function which will find the prime number. Now, first of all, we are going to take a label here. So this is the label. We are changing the text of the label that enter number. So first of all, user will enter the number. Now this enter number is associated with the text box. So we are dragging and dropping one text box in front of that. So here user will enter the number. Now afterward, we are going to take one button. So whenever the user click on the button, then operation perform. So here in this button, we are using the name let's check prime so that means it is going to check the prime number so here i am extending the size that this is the check prime now afterward i am going to double click on this button so that we can do the coding now above this we are going to perform the function so here above the button we are going to provide the function we are providing public, public means it is accessed outside. Then we are providing sub, sub stands for void. Just like in the C programming, we are having void main, void sum. Similarly, here we are having sub main, or maybe if we are having some function like, let's say prime. In the C, we are having void prime. And here we are having sub prime. So we are mentioning sub prime. Now afterward, we are not going to pass any argument enter. So this is the body of prime. Now I'm going to provide certain space so that we can understand that these are different. This button function is associated with the button. Now afterward, if I'm going to call this function inside the button, I want that whenever I click the button, then this function should be called. Simply I will write prime. So here function will be called. That means whenever I click on the button, then afterward this code will be executed because this is the button one code and it is going to call the prime function. Now, this is a simple one without argument. But if I has to provide some argument, let's say if I want, I should provide something inside. Now we are checking how to work. Let us suppose that this is the text box one. I'm going to take the text box value inside the button. So now I'm going above inside the coding of button and I'm writing here dim n as integer. So one variable of integer type is declared. Now in this n, I'm going to take the value from the text box. So n is equal to value from text box one dot text means whatever the text box is there, we are going to take that. If I want that this n should be passed as the argument to the prime function, then we know that in the C programming, we used to write void prime and inside we write int n. So here in the dot net, it is not void, it is sub prime. Now here, instead of writing int n, we will write n as integer. So here we'll write n as integer. So that is what we are going to provide. Then clicking here, you can see that automatically it is by val. By val means if you are not defining, automatically it is going to pass by value method. We know that two methods are there. One is the by value and second one is the by reference. So here by default by value method is there. That means copy is passed. Another method is by reference. If I simply write here by ref, then reference will be passed. In the C programming, we used to write star and the and operator. So here it is not like we simply write by ref. But in this case, we are passing the by val. Now here, you can see that prime is having no return type and there is one argument. So here inside that we are passing the argument that is n. So this argument we are passing now, no more error. Now, whenever we write something there and click on the button, so this code will run, it will take the value from the text box and pass to the function. So now in the prime function, we are having n. Now afterward, we can simply write the program of prime number. So we are writing here, we are declaring one variable dim i as integer. So we have taken one variable here, then we are taking one more variable dim f as boolean. So boolean means it can take true and false values. 
afterward we are running the loop for i is equal to 2 2 n minus 1 because we know that prime number is the number which is divisible by only itself and everything is divisible by 1 so that's why we are starting from 2 and going till n minus 1 let us say 7 so 7 is divisible by 7 itself as well as 1 so we are starting from 2 to 6 so if any number is divisible from 2 to the second last of that number then this is not the prime if it is not divisible that is a prime number so we are writing here then i is equal to 2 to n minus 1 then afterward we are going to check if number whatever the number is mod i is equal to 0 means the number is divisible with the i that means from 2 to n minus 1 if the number is divisible with any 1 in that case we are making f as false that means this is now false it is not the prime number then afterward we are going to exit because once we find then we don't have to check so we'll write exit for so we are writing exit for because if the number is not prime and we have checked then we should go out directly now if the loop continues then afterward at the end we are checking that f is equal to false in that case we are mentioning that number is not prime so we are putting a message box that number not prime now we are first of all going to provide the value of f let us suppose that we are providing here true so by default the value of f is true now in the else part we can provide else means by default the number is prime so we are assuming that message box in the bracket number is prime so that is what we have done here afterward we are going to run this so we're going to the play button then afterward this is the coding and this is the output now we are going to enter a certain number here let us suppose that we are going to enter the number let's say 8 click over there number not prime whenever you click on the button this code will run first of all a n variable is declared now this n variable is going to take the value from text box that is 8 now this 8 is passed to the prime function so here this prime is having the 8 value then afterward we have declared two variables i and f f is by default true then from 2 to 7 because 2 to n minus 1 7 2 to 7 it is going it is checking first of all if n mod i that means this 8 is divisible with 2 yes it is divisible on very first pass then f is false exit 4 so on very first state is going to exit and if f is false number not prime is displayed we're going to check another number let's say 7 now click over there now whenever you click over there this button coding run n is declared then afterward this 7 is stored to the n now this prime function is called and in the bracket 7 is sent so here i and f are declared f is the boolean type variable which is having the true then afterward for i is equal to 2 to n minus 1 which is 6 from 2 to 6 is going to work if 7 mod 2 so first of all we are dividing with 7 with 2 is it divisible no again going back is 7 divisible with 3 no 4 no 5 no 6 no so here it will come out so f is by default true so it is saying number is prime so this is how we can find the prime and the not prime number with the help of the function we should simply understand that this is the argument which we are passing so whenever we are passing the argument here we have to pass some value also the name of function is prime so it is the prime sub means void this is the definition of function and this is the calling of function so that is how we can find the prime number with the help of function.